to Eat Sleep Daniel channel and today I'm on Warden Street and we got some so many places uh, like eatery, street food, hotel and restaurant. So come along with me. restaurant and now before we going in as usual we're going to read out some reviews on Google Maps so okay let's see this I, uh, some people gave like five stars some give three stars like uh, they, they said like they have like tasty food and amazing bar and it, it also has like a promotion too and uh, it is a very nice building, they said. Obviously, it's a very nice building. And also, like, they have very nice stuff. So, I have uh, read out some of the reviews. So, let's check these reviews are right or not. See that this place has a like, uh, little water feature back there. And, you know, Staff told me the most beautiful seating is up, uh, up in the rooftop, so I'm gonna check this place. The view up in here is very beautiful. And you know, it is the best place to have like uh, evening dinner with your family and with your friends. Now I'm gonna order some food and get a seat there. I found uh, what I have to order. It is like fried rice with five, uh, baked pineapple and cashew nut. And I'm gonna order this one. Oh, uh, my order has finally arrived. Uh, I was expecting it to come with a you know pineapple thing, but um, hopefully it is. I hope it is tasteful. I'm gonna try this. Uh, it smells like uh, pineapple and cashew nut, and I'm so hungry right now. I'm gonna try this one. It's really good. Uh, the thing I like about this dish is you got a lot of like uh, different texture in a one dish like you got uh, the nuts it is very crunchy it is it got a crunchy texture and then um, and the chicken is very tender and uh, you know whatever you bite this uh, little pineapple piece it, you got like uh, sweet and sour bust in your mouth so I really love this so first thing, I'm very impressed by the look here, the decoration and the setting of this place, and I um, and then um, I'm also treated by the treated nicely by the stuff. So it also have nice stuff, and then um, top of it, uh, the taste is uh, the food is very good and tasty. So I think I agree with the reviews of this place. And it costs uh, 4,900 jets, uh, which is a little bit, uh, you know, pricey in Yango. Uh, but I think uh, it's worth because I got uh, uh, the I got a very nice uh, service and uh, excellent quality. 
um, now I have finished my meal and then uh, it was a great view. And then our next destination is right across the, the class restaurant. It is the Ampien Hotel. So before going in, we're gonna check the review first on the Google Map. Uh, some said it is uh, it is in a good location and fair price, but uh, they are a little bit small. The rooms are a little bit small, and uh, and they said they keep the hotel very clean and satisfied with the service. So let's check it out and uh, check these reviews right now. So luckily we got a chance to see one of the rooms in MGM Hotel and this is a double room but it is with an extra bed and it costs $28 for a foreigner for one night and for the local it is 35,000 jets. See the view up here. <laughs> and it's actually a little bit dark, but um, you can see like quite a nice view of the city. Um, it's quite a spacious bedroom, and it also has like a hot and cold shower too. In the review, some people mentioned that uh, the rooms are a little bit small, but uh, actually I can see a very good size of room here, and also the bed, the, the place is very clean and tidy. But in my own opinion, I, I feel like it is a little bit old-fashioned. So this is a typical decoration for the KTV in here. Uh, you can see the bling bling things here. So I'm gonna go out there. And now I'm in the Sky KTV and KTV is a kind of like a common place in Yangon to have fun. And the KTV stands for like karaoke TV which uh, the people can have fun and sing it. Another thing you need to be aware of like uh, going to KTV in here is uh, they have two kinds of KTV and if you want to have fun with your families and friends, you should go to the place called like Family KTV and another type is like it's more about nightlife. So now I'm in front of the typical like uh, street food stand in Yangon and it is also a part of like Doring restaurant and here is a little like street food stand and what they sell is like the mohinga which is a traditional dish in here and it is made out of like fish soup and a rice noodle and we can go together with uh, some kind of like deep fried toppings here. This one is a uh, mohinga uh, soup, which is made of fish soup, and it is also a like, national dish, and which I'm very proud of. So another exciting thing about eating mohinga is the topping. Uh, you know, we got a different type of topping in here, and I'm gonna explain uh, everything about it. And so, the first thing is the deep fry. The, the most common thing we eat together with mohinga is uh, uh, deep fry, uh, crunchy uh, uh, beans. Yeah, beans. And then uh, another thing is uh, deep fried onion and like uh, deep fried broth and uh, spring rolls, samosa, and uh, then have three different like different type of like uh, beans, deep fried beans. <laughs> So I got my order of mohinga and uh, it costs, uh, typically the, it costs like 1,000 jet without the topping but if we uh, put that topping we have to give like 200 extra, uh, extra 200 jets and 
and in here we got like uh, fish soup and the uh, banana stem, the, uh, the onion and then the coriander and also the, the topping uh, which is a uh, uh, deep fried beans. And these are the condiments of the mohinga which we can eat together and this is the lemon. Uh, if you love like sour taste, you can add it. And like if you want, like, if you want like uh, spicy taste, you can add chili powder. And if you love like uh, uh, you know some aroma or something like that, you can add like coriander. So the most exciting part is coming, and it is taste it. <laughs> Taste is uh, very rich and you know uh, a little bit like salty because it is made out of fish soup, so it is salty and a bit rich. It, when I taste it, uh, it is a little bit. The, this mohinga is a little bit different from other mohinga. I can I can get the like taste of like lemongrass. It is very strong in here. Uh, it is also really good. I love it. And I'm gonna taste the. Uh, Topping. The topping also like it has like two texture and uh, the, the cover is a little bit uh, crunchy and in the, uh, the the inner one is a little bit soft so it has like two texture and it goes really well together with the mohinga. And personally, I really love this place and atmosphere because it is uh, actually it is a like typical uh, restaurant. But in outside, we have like different uh, food stands like mohinga stands, sontam stands, and jeo stands, and then also like uh, barbecue stand, I guess. And here, like we have table outside, and you can sit here enjoy. You can also see some people enjoy beer and enjoy their evening. So if you come here with your family, it is a very nice spot, and you can get like uh, very. The foods are also very cheap. You know, like this one costs only like uh, twelve uh, one thousand and two hundred jets, and also like the foods are very delicious, seem very delicious and clean. I hope you love this video, and if you love this video, you can also check this one and this one too.